Good evening. We hope you are doing well. Welcome to our UME Preparatory Academy 2019-2020 end of year award ceremony. We are so glad that you are here and you have joined us today. We're excited for all of the things that we get to celebrate that you have accomplished and done this year. It's going to be a fun time. So we want to get started right away. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you your wonderful principal, Ms. Joni Holder. Thank you, Ms. Smith. Welcome, everyone. So nice to see you here tonight. We are excited about this award ceremony for our first through third graders, and I know you are as well. So we are ready to get started. We are going to begin the evening with a special award. Well, actually several special awards for our Ring of Honor Scholars. And of course, all the scholars that are tuned in know exactly what that means. That is a special student that is nominated by teachers and then selected to represent our school because of their extremely wonderful character and the fact that they are just great citizens all the time at school. And we will begin, I will begin by reading our first Ring of Honor winner. This Ring of Honor winner is a great friend to her classmates and likes to make them feel happy. She soaks up information like a sponge and truly loves to learn. Her critical thinking skills will take her places one day. She is an obedient student and she strives to exhibit the honorable character traits expected from her teachers. She definitely deserves to win this award. The Ring of Honor winner goes to Amelia or Emmy Molina. Let's give her a round of applause. Congratulations, Emmy. Okay, now our second Ring of Honor winner I will begin reading the wonderful things about this scholar. This student is a highly motivated young man. He is such an asset to any class. He is pleasant, helpful, and very intelligent. He is thoughtful in his approach to learning and stands out in a group because of his performance. He views learning as a positive opportunity and displays his learning through his leadership. I believe he will succeed in any field he chooses because of his confidence and cognitive abilities. I am proud to have him in my class and I am confident that he will always excel. And this Ring of Honor award goes to Zakaya Stevens in third grade. Let's give him a round of applause. Congratulations, Zakaya. Okay, and now, <laughs> We've got some extra applause tonight, but we, our applause getter is kind of having a little technical difficulty. Anyway, let me reintroduce Ms. Smith to you, and she's going to come and give our faculty ring of honor awards. Okay, We're, we always love um, honoring people for our ring of honor awards, and we haven't been able to do that in the last couple of months, so we're catching up tonight, which is a lot of fun. So we do choose a staff member, also faculty member every month to get the Ring of Honor Award. So I'm going to read about this faculty member. You see if you can figure out who it is when I read about them. This staff member has a very challenging but rewarding job. She puts her whole heart into everything she does. She goes the extra mile to investigate and assist in the behavioral and cultural issues that occur at UME. Her goal is to always be fair and encourage our scholars to, the best, to be the best they can be. She conferences with teachers to find ways to support our scholars, and she exhibits great compassion. This staff member is appreciated by everyone and a true gem for UME. The Ring of Honor Award goes to Ms. Rhonda Arona. Congratulations, Ms. Arona. We love you. Okay, and I do have to say, Ms. Arona, 
there is really no surprise at the beginning of this meeting, like something silly that I was going to tell everybody. I just wanted to make sure you tuned in on time. She was up here at the school packing sacks this afternoon, and I couldn't get her to go home. So congratulations. We're so proud for you. Okay, now it's time to start our awards for our scholars, and I'm excited to begin with our Perfect Attendance Award. This award is not an easy one to get, especially during flu season and when and things are going around. And if you were able to be at school every day this year, well, most of it, the time that we could come, then you have earned this award. So get ready and listen for your name. You probably know who you are. Our first grade award winners are Fania Batista, Valeria Calderon, Vanessa Dunford, Anne George, Carlos Gomez Jr., Vihan Condabola, Alfreda Moreno, Evelyn Ramirez, Elsie Santos, and Mateo Silva. Congratulations. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, before I go on, let me just say, guys, boys and girls, scholars, I am doing my very best job to pronounce your names correctly, but if I mess up, I apologize ahead of time. We have a lot of names, and especially last names, I don't always know for sure the correct pronunciation, so please forgive me if I mispronounce your name. All right, in second grade, our scholars who received the Perfect Attendance Award are Anderson Bryant, Maria Escobaria, Ian Newfelt, Ben Watkins, Saul Castro, Kevin Osberger, Zechariah Burke. Uh oh, I scooted into third grade. So let's just go ahead and finish up third grade as well. Crystal Corral, Addison Geert, Lucy Guzman, Isabel Jerez. Olivia Lee, Jose Mata, Mateo Martinez, Angel Pena, London Sanchez, Lula Tosh, and Sienna Wine. Congratulations to our second and third grade scholars on this perfect attendance award. And now for our fourth grade perfect attenders, the award goes to, hmm, we're gonna stop at third grade because this is first through third grade awards. And so we don't wanna announce awards for our fourth graders until the 7.30 grade comes in. Okay, okay. Um, so now I am ready to give We're ready now for our principal awards. I'd like to explain what the principal award is. Scholars, this is where we take our four core courses, ELA, math, science, and social studies, and we average them together. And if you have maintained an average of 90 to 94%, then you will receive the principal's award. And this is a wonderful award. It shows that you are really giving your all, trying your best, and doing a great job academically. So here we go. We'll start with first grade. Our principal awards go to Olive Awad, Valeria Calderon, Peyton Garrett, Lily Guzman, Ellie Hollis, Lorna Jones, Vihan Condabola, Caroline Lee, Alexandra Mendez, Giselle Morales, Tegan Norton, Sarah Odom, Olivia Orr, Haya Ramadan, Elizabeth Ramsey, Mateo Silva, and Melody Zamora. And those are our first grade principal award winners. Let's give them a round of applause.
Okay, second grade. Principal awards go to Carolina Chavez, Kate Christopher, Camilla Ramirez, Angelo Duran, Chanel Ellis, Talitha Franco, Caleb Galvin, Samuel Lee, Jillian Lewis, Amelia Martin, Evangelina Martin, Santiago Martinez, Elijah McQueen, Isabella Melen Melendez, Coda Micah, Matthew Alade, Eli Ordaz, Aubrey Romero, Christopher Trejo, Armani Vasquez, Ben Watkins, and Isabella Zuniga. Great job, second grade, on the receiving the principal's awards. Congratulations. And finally, we have our third grade principal award winners. And there are quite a few of them. So listen up, maybe you'll hear your name. We're gonna start with Jasmine Escovedo, Saul Castro, Isabella Hernandez, Gabriel Goez, Jacob Arteaga, Kevin Osberger, Kanan Barker, Azia Bernard, Sarah Bell, Suki Boyd, Zechariah Burke, Catherine Burleson, Samaya Burleson, Ela Escanela, Helia Fleming, Malachi Flickner, Rosias Galvin, Lucy Guzman, David Hernandez, Esau Hurek, Isabel Jerez, Caitlin Kauslikar, Olivia Lee, Benjamin Mock, Mateo Martinez, Evan Norman, Ava Passas, Allison Rodick, Seth Rosales, Rose Snook, Zakaya Stevens, Cora Tosh, Lula Tosh, Jonathan Trejo, Joshua Vanison, and Ethne Woodruff. And those are the principal award winners for third grade. Congratulations, guys. Excellent work. Okay, and now I'm going to turn back over to Mrs. Smith, who has some really exciting awards to present. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Holder. All right, we have heard about our principal's award. Now we're going to talk about the superintendent's award. This award is like the principal's award, except that now to get a superintendent, you have to maintain a 95 to 100% average in your four core subjects for the whole year. So for ELA, math, science, and social studies, you have to have a 95 to 100 average. And we have a lot who are uh, receiving this award. So some fantastic scholars in our school, right? So I'm gonna start with first grade and there's a long list. So listen carefully for your name. Lydia Arteaga, Hutch Barker, Paulo Portugal, Vinya Bautista, Grace Bean, Lilia Bell, Elizabeth Bruce, Sophia Cruz, Vanessa Dunford, Denzel Esbrand, Eric Espinoza, Lola Finger, Marcus Galvin, Anne George, Jasmine Gonzalez Solis, Benjamin Hardy, Eli Harrison, Lillian Helms, Avery Harper Hill, Soha Humphrey, Mary Kay Jesperson, Cameron Law, Joseph Manter, Emery Medina, Amelia Molina, Isaac Najaru, Evelyn Ramirez, Oakley Riel, Heidi Rodriguez, 
Sarah Rodriguez Gomez, Eliza Santos, Luke Stokes, Samuel Symes, Celine Tron, Grace Villiel, Villiel, I'm sorry, I know that's not correct, Skylar Walker, Rigby Weaver, Aiden Wine, and Carter Woodruff. Congratulations to our first grade superintendent award winners. <laughs> okay. Okay, second grade superintendent award winners. Are we ready? Here we go. Naomi Artiaga, Anderson Bryan, Elliot Berkey, Samuel Chambia, Emma Dennis, Maria Coronado, Zoe Enriquez, Tabitha George, Delaney Ignatz, Ethan Almanza, Kinsley Lloyd, Ethan Lopez, Holden Lynn, Luke Martinez, Sophia Malark, Ian Neufeld, Jonathan Pena, Hosea Pilch, Jack Ramsey, Sebastian Rios, Naomi Rodriguez, Austin Smith, Noah Stewart, and Asher Vogel. Congratulations to our second grade superintendents award winners. Okay, our third grade list is much shorter, and that is because the older we get, the more challenging it can become. So this is a shorter list for third grade. We're very proud of these third graders. So our third graders are Anthony Beck, Saul Flores, Addison Gurr, Landry Jennings, Callie Lynn, Jaden McVean, and Marquesa Riel. So congratulations to our third grade superintendents list award winners. Yeah, great job, everybody. Okay. It is now an exciting time to get to announce our character awards. And our character awards are chosen by our classroom teachers along with specialty teachers input. And they choose students who, I like to say, it's a lot of our students who do the right thing even when no one is looking. They are just always trying to be on their best behavior, making good choices and showing excellent character. So these are very special awards. And if you receive one tonight, you may be very proud of the fact that you have represented you and me in a very fine way. We will begin with our first grade character awards. From Ms. Artiaga's class, the two character awards go to Soho Humphrey and Eli Harrison. Ms. Brandon's class, the two character award winners are Olivia Orr and Hutch Barker. Congratulations. From Ms. Smith, Ms. Sarah Smith's class, her two award winners are Isaac Geraru and Grace Vieira. Congratulations. And finally, in first grade, the final two award winners from Mrs. Moore's class are Avery Harper Hill and Mateo Silva. Way to go, guys. Congratulations. Okay, we're going to continue with our second grade character award winners. Oh, 
so sorry. Okay, <laughs> virtual awards, you gotta love them, guys. Okay, here we go. In second grade, we have Coden Micah and Austin Smith. Congratulations. We also have in second grade, Maria Escaveria, Coronado, and Noah Stewart. Congratulations. Our next two second grade award winners are Naomi Artiaga and Ethan Lopez. And our final two second grade award winners are Jillian Harris, I mean, I'm so sorry, I read the wrong name, Jillian Lewis and Sebastian Rios. Way to go, guys. Congratulations to all of our character winners. All right, finally, we're going to have our third grade award winners. The third grade award winners are Ethne Woodruff. Well, you know what? Let's do a couple at a time, like we've been doing two at a time, and then we'll clap for them. Ethne Woodruff and Marquesa Riel. Congratulations. Also, we have Benjamin Mock and Elias Mendez. Way to go, guys. Two more character award winners are Eve Nieto and Isabel Perez. Congratulations, girls. And finally, Saul Perez and Jaden McVean. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations to Jaden and Saul. Let's give them a round of applause first. And now a round of applause for all of our first and third grade character winners. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Smith. Okay, we have a very special award that we only give one time each year. And we have already given some Ring of Honor awards tonight, but at the end of each school year, we take all of these either students or faculty members at, that have won the Ring of Honor award during that year. And then we choose one person out of that group that receives what we call the Honor Eagle Award for the year. So I have a, to give this award tonight, I have the privilege of giving this award tonight to one of your teachers as the Honor Eagle winner for the entire school year. So let me read about this person and see if you know who it is. This teacher has been with UME since the beginning. She most certainly deserves the Honor Eagle Award. She wears many hats at UME and fills her duties in a kind and professional manner. She has been so welcoming to the new staff members who came to UME this year. She loves her students, and you can tell she wants them to succeed. This teacher has a heart for building relationships with the faculty, parents, and students. She has the best smile and a great sense of humor, too. She is a perfect nominee for the Honor Eagle Award for 2019 through 2020, and this award goes to Ms. Katie Shaw. to Mrs. Shaw. We love you. We all love you so much and appreciate you. It's a pleasure to give you this award. Congratulations, Katie. What, a, what an honor that is. And you know that, like Ms. Smith said, we all love you and appreciate you. And I think your uh, co-workers would agree 100% with that. Okay, guys, we're, we're coming to the end of our program. And I wanted to express my appreciation. This is Mainly, guys, this is to your parents, to you as well, but especially to the parents that have done so much to make our at-home learning successful. Guys, it has been a journey. We've never been down this road before, 
And as an administration, we have worked really hard to do our very best, but sometimes we have roadblocks. Sometimes we would make a plan and then something would come our way and we would have to change it. So we know it's been challenging for you as, as you've gotten lots of emails from us. And I really, I had so much I wanted to say to you. And um, as my teammates might tell you up here, sometimes that can be a problem because they think I talk too much maybe. But anyway, I was wanting to say exactly things from my heart. So I started Googling and I was trying to find something that was just going to say what I was thinking and I couldn't find anything. So I decided to write a poem about it. And I just, this is what came through my poetry, um, expressing my appreciation to you. I wanted to share something special with you. So I Googled ideas, but they just wouldn't do. They didn't convey what I felt in my heart, like saying thank you for doing your part. So I decided to write to you just what I feel, beginning with how this time is surreal. Who would have guessed we'd be Zooming today? Or that our awards program would look this way. But here we are, finally making it through. There is no way we could have done without you. You tackled this challenge and gave it your best, even though patience was put to the test. You taught your sweet children, though teachers you're not. Thank goodness our teachers could help out a lot. You gave it your all. We knew you were trying, even though we all felt a little like crying. You buckled right in and made home learning fun. You supported us all. We were in this as one. No words can express, but I think that I should let you know that we are all changed for good. We've created a bond that will go on forever, a true partnership. We have all stood together. So thank you again for working with us and when mistakes were made, not making a fuss. For showing us grace and choosing to shine, you've been our favorite partners in crime. Guys, I mean this, everything has gone the way it has because of our amazing families and the support you've given us. And I've got to say, because of our major, amazing teachers who have done an incredible job. I wish you could see the amount of time and work and energy put in by our teachers trying to make sure your kids were learning and not missing a beat. And I promise you, um, that was their goal all along, um, tireless hours. So teachers, you know I love you and you're simply the best. And I just wanna say that um, we, Again, I, I say this to the teachers all the time. I think this time is going to change us all. It's made us really connect with our families more. It has opened the door for communication. And I do truly believe it has in, in really um, increased our partnership from families to teachers and administration. So thank you for that. All right, guys, I'm going to turn this back over to Ms. Smith, and she will conclude our program. Thank you for being here. Well, I just want to say thank you also. And what an unusual year it has been. It has been one we didn't expect, we weren't really prepared for, but as Mrs. Holder said, you have done an incredible job. And I don't want to get emotional, but we just love you. We want to thank you um, for all that you do. And Mrs. Holder makes me cry when she talks. <laughs> Somebody give a not not joke real quick. Hurry. <laughs> um, anyway, I just want to say how much we appreciate all of you, the students who have worked so hard, the parents who have pitched in, and all of our teachers in our administration. Thank you. We love you. We want you to have a wonderful summer. Enjoy every minute. And we will see you back in August. Bye-bye. <laughs>